Welcome back my friends, myself JP. In this video, we are going to see about a texture modding tutorial for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut PC game. Come on guys, let's get onto this video. Okay guys, first of all, we need these application. First one is the Ghost of Tsushima file extractor. Second one is the Noises application. Third one is the H60 application. I provided all the links to the application in the description of this video. You can download it directly. So first one is the Ghost of Tsushima extractor. Open the application. Now click file, then choose open directory. Then go to your game root directory and then open HPC and then PSR folder. Then click select folder. Once you click the select folder button, all the PSR archive files are loaded into this mod tool. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to make a simple texture mod. So for that, I am going to extract this armor one file. So click the file specific file which you need to extract and then click unpack button. So it will ask the location where you need to extract the files. I am going to extract in the same directory by making a new folder. Make sure you need to make a new folder or in a different directory. Otherwise, it will mess up your game files. Okay, now I am going to remake for modding texture. Okay. So then open it and then click select folder. You need to wait until all the files to decompress. Okay, now the selected file has been extracted. Click OK button and then go to your game root directory. Then open the KHPC PSR folder and then you can see a new folder named as bitmaps and the file name.txt. So open the bitmap folders and here you can see all the texture files. All the texture files are in the different format, which means in the extension of .sps. So to open the textures, we need the another application which is named as noises so you need to download this application before that you need to add a noises plugin i also provided this specific link in the description of this video so the main use of this plugin is to open the sps file we can extract textures by using this specific plugin so download the plugin application and click copy then go to your noises folder and open the plugins folder then open python right click then paste uh, that's it. Now go back to your noises main folder, then run the noises application. Okay, the noises application has been launched. If you wish, you can have the debug log, otherwise, you can close it. Now navigate your game directory, which means you should navigate to this specific directory in the noises application. So just expand it and then double click the bitmap folder. So once you click the bitmap folder, it will show all the SPS file in this specific window. If you double click the SPS file, it will show the textures. You can see. So and one more thing is, you need to edit the textures only ends with the D. You need to edit only the D textures. So I am going to extract this specific file. You can see this is the file. So just right click it and then click export. Choose the format as a DDS. Make sure you need to choose this as a DDS image. Then click export. Okay, now it has been completed. Close this window. Then I am going to export the form of shoulder armor. So this is a shoulder armor. So do the same steps. Right click, export. Choose the format as a DDS image. Export. Click OK. And then I am going to choose another one, which means this is a skirt for a broken one. Okay, just right click it, export, and then choose the format as a DDS image. Click OK. Go to your bitmap folder, and then you can see the extracted textures in a DDS format. So for easy access, you can just move this file to a new folder. Just create a new folder and name it as whatever you want like green armor die then 
paste it here. So from here onwards, the main tutorial starts. So just click rename and then copy the name of the file. So go to your bitmap folder and then search the name. Move the last three letters out and then you can see the main SPS file, which means this is the default SPS file. So go back to your green armor die and then paste this SPF file. So do the same for all the other TDS files. It can be depends upon you. If you are editing a more than 10 textures, you should copy all the 10 files, original files to the same location. So go to bitmap folder, then search for this one. Copy the main texture, then go back to the folder and then paste it. Then copy, then search. Okay guys, now we successfully pasted all the original textures into a separate folder. Okay guys, now you need to open the DDS file in an editing application. So I am using a Photoshop to edit this DDS file. For this tutorial, I am just simply changing the color of this normal to a different one or maybe the green is be better okay now here is the very very main part the compression so you can see this image contains the alpha channel which means you can see the transparency layer at the background so which means this texture contain alpha channel so now click save and then if that for replace click yes okay so now here is the main part so as i said earlier this texture contains alpha so you need to choose color plus alpha and then in the compression mode you need to choose bc3 8bp srgb dx10 plus in the minimap you can choose auto generate and then click okay so that's it do the same for other textures also If you followed all the steps correctly and then save the files with the perfect compression then you can see the same file size as the original and the dds you can see both having the same file size so if you see the same file size then you you are going in a right way okay now you need to open all this file in the hxd application i already installed this hxd application to my pc i'm just opening it once the hxd application has been opened just choose the sps file and the dds file maybe you can choose the same similar files with the same size then drag and drop into the hxd the first one is the original sps file second one is the modified dds file go to the sps file and then copy until the range so here is another main part i think i am going to explain it but uh, i'm not sure how you guys will understand but anyhow i will try to explain it more clearly so you can see these are the x codes so you can see the specific values uh, now you can see these are where you can see all the values are in the same similar patterns c f f f f f g and then and so on so and this is where the pattern starts you can see zero 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 five 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 f f f and before that you can see BA, AA, AA, 2A, which means these are in the different. So you need to copy from the start and till this before. Then copy. Then go back to your modified DDS file. And then select up to 94. So this is 90, 91, 92, 93 and 94. Then click paste. So that's it. Click save button. Do the same for all the other.
okay so now you can see there's another three files has been created which means this is the backup file once you modify the files via hxd it will automatically create a backup file if anything occurs or you face any loss in the textures you can just use this backup files to recover the modified dds file now here is the main part you need to find out the modified hxd file is working perfectly or not just rename all the files with the .sps extension you need to only rename the dds file okay now go back to noises once again then double click the bitmaps and then you can see the green armor die folder in that you can see ends with the dds.sps this is a modified texture select the first one this is a default texture and then this is the modified texture if you see your modified texture in noises application then you are going in a right way so you can check for all the files this is the original one this is the modified one this is the original one this is the modified one so now that's it we successfully modified the color textures and also converted into a sps file so now we need to inject this sps file into the game so the steps are very simple so you need to delete the original sps file so we don't need this so just delete this file so only the modified file is be there in that modified file click rename and then remove the out.dds do the same for all the other textures which means i'm just keeping the exact name like the original file okay that's it so now go to bitmap folder and delete all the sps file we don't need it okay done now move this file into the bitmap folder okay guys now go back to the modding texture folder and then you can see the file name dot text file so open this text file and then you can see these are the file names so just go back to the folder and then type cmd if you type dir all the files in the directory will be visible here so you need to copy the name of this files and then go to the file name.txt you need to create a file name like this so for easy access you can just remove all the ones just click delete type bitmaps then slash then paste it here so just copy the bitmap and do the same for all the other textures so which means this bitmaps will have the folder name this one and then you need to add a slash then click save so that's it you have created the file names.txt with the three modified textures now go back to your got extractor and then click repack from folder so now it will ask which folder you need to repack so choose the folder where you located the modded textures do not open the bitmaps you need to select the folder where the file name.txt is available so just click select folder and then it will ask for where to save the file you can just save the file anything i'm going to make a file like a modified green die then click save so click ok and then go back to your psoc folder and then you can see yeah this is the one file so to make this mod work just copy the name of the file which i extracted and then go to the modified psoc file and then rename it into some other name like varma2 green type that's it we made a texture mod successfully now it's time to test in the game so okay now launch the game For this tutorial, 
I edited the broken armor die to green color. So this is the one which we modified right now. You can follow the same steps for to mod the other armor dies also. Even the armor textures also you can modify by following the same method. I guess this method will work for all. That's it guys. We successfully created texture mod for a Ghost of Tsushima PC game. I guess this tutorial will be helpful for all the modders. That's it guys. Stay tuned for more modding tutorials. Signing off. JP.